Each of these dots represents a place where people live. But we don't know who they are or much about them. The villages are unknown, in Kanu. Here, it looks like an empty space. I'm obsessed with maps. I used to sneak into my parents' room and steal my dad's Rand McNally atlas. I traced the shapes of countries, rivers, towns. What would it be like to stand in those places? But what most intrigued me were the blank spots. Were they really empty? During college, I did research in Cameroon, where I visited remote logging camps and interviewed Baca villagers about HIV. I fell in love with Central Africa and public health. Later, I went to the Democratic Republic of the Congo to research infectious diseases. My project was simple. Make a list of the villages in DRC's Bandundu province with GPS coordinates to help with disease surveillance. To screen people and treat them, you have to know where they are. With satellite imagery, we can see every human settlement. We printed out satellite imagery maps and asked local staff to identify their villages and then we digitized these points using GIS software. Then we generated GPS coordinates. Even if we don't know the names of these villages, we know they exist. I sat for hours in front of the computer, dropping GPS points. We identified thousands of villages, yellow dots. But there were more we didn't know. In Kanu, red dots. Two years, hundreds of hours, thousands of dots. On some days, mapping Bandundu felt like trying to identify every star in the Milky Way. Should I drop a GPS point here? Is this part of a village or a separate one? On the back of a motorbike, I headed to one of these remote spots. My back hurt from sleeping on a dirt floor in a nearby village, and I was homesick. I was training local staff to conduct a microcensus. Most villages around us had names, but this one didn't. We approached a cluster of homes. A middle-aged woman with a baby strapped to her back opened a door. Children watched, wide-eyed. Kombomboka Nini, I asked. What is the name of this village? Kinzusu the woman replied. We asked how many people lived here, if they'd ever been tested for sleeping sickness. Covered in dirt, with the eyes of a dozen curious children looking at me, I had a strange feeling. I'd spent the last two years staring at a computer screen and thousands of red dots. One of those dots that I was choosing to place could put these kids on a map. Being on a map could mean the difference between receiving health services or not. Being screened or vaccinated against a deadly disease or not. This village I was now standing in, Kinzusu. Now it was this mom, these kids, and not just an empty space. <laughs> I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go